What? My nose is running. Can you walk? No, with your walker. Walk down the hallway with your walker. No, I'm going to make our video in here. You need a new walker. Why? That one sucks. I need to make a video on this awesome thing. Enough about that. I got a package in the mail. And I know what it is. Or at least I think I do. Ta-da! It's a USB 3.0 to HDMI or DVI. That's what's in the box. And there's all the information on the back. I figured I'd share that as well. But enough of that. Let's open this thing. Ooh, a nice presentation just slides out. I like that. In Flossie Carter's words, I like a good box. Flips open nice. Here's how to use it. This is USB 3.0, but it does also work with USB 2.0. Here's the adapter that converts it from HDMI to DVI. The actual device itself is very small. In the box, you have a USB cable, a CD for the drivers, and a book on how to use it. Nothing else follows. I do really like the presentation that you're given with. Just slides out, pops open, it's not cheap or crappy feeling. Okay, for Windows 7, Vista, and XP. It's a very small disc, but that's not what matters. Take out this cable. At the beginning, you saw my daughter. She has cerebral palsy, that's why she uses a walker. I have videos of her on my channel. I'll try to link to those in the description. Do you notice anything here? Pluggable USB Ethernet adapter. Pluggable powered hub. Love, love, love this thing. This thing's also awesome as well. And a pluggable USB to HDMI. This goes into a USB 2.0 or 3.0. 3.0 preferred, of course, because the speed is much faster. And then this goes into the pluggable adapter. It's got the letter B on it. And then this, if you have a DVI cable that goes to your monitor, you just plug this into there. And bam! My G74SX has one single USB 3.0 port, so I'm going to plug this into it, and I'm going to have this going to my TV, and I'm going to have the built-in HDMI port going to another TV. I'll show you guys here in a second. You'll have to excuse my setup. I'm not the neatest person in the world. I have my G74SX laptop. I'm gonna take the HDMI cable that's going to the back of the Xbox and borrow it for a second. Especially since the TV is already on that input. Hey daddy, will you get my this? Will you get my paper daddy, please? Thank you, daddy. You're welcome. I do you like it? Do you read this for that thing? Now I'm going to go ahead and plug this into the one USB 3.0 port. You can tell because usually they're blue. Now I want to note that I have not put the disk in. Windows is downloading the drivers. I have said the display is flashing, but that's because it's installing a graphics driver and that's normal. For instance, if you installed LogMeIn, it would do the same thing. It says do not unplug it. This is a very awesome laptop and I can highly recommend it to anybody. If you're using an older version of the drivers, please go to Display Link to get the latest drivers. Hmm. Drivers right there. Alright, I'm going to use Internet Explorer because Firefox doesn't seem to be wanting to work. Okay, it said I had the old drivers. I'm going to play some recording. But clicking the download link doesn't do anything at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. And I'm going to take this HDMI cable that's going to my TV and plug it in. Haha, -ha, look at that. I can take it from this top window right here, you can barely see. Do that so good. Yeah, that feels really good. And drag it up right here. Aww. I love you, Daddy. I love you too. That's crazy. As you can see, I'm able to take anything, like this folder, 
and drag it over there. I can't play anything that's copyrighted, so I'll just open up one of my old videos. This is nothing short of awesome, and uh, I am somebody that's like a dork, a geek, whatever you want to call it. But I'm not there you go. Videos. I got 1500 watt lights from uh, the video. This is my camera. I'm not, I have my... This is from my computer, but playing on a secondary monitor, which is a TV. And I can take this even further. I'll be back. As you can see, those are the ports of my ASUS G74SX. It has an HDMI cable, and it has a USB 3.0, and next to it is a USB 2.0. Right. As you can see, it says no signal, but I'm going to go ahead and plug this into my laptop. There goes my computer. And as you see, we now have a tri-monitor setup, if you call it that. Three monitors displaying stuff off one laptop. I should be able to take this and then bring it down. Okay, bring it to the right. And look, now I have it over here on this little screen. I can go back up here and I can play my video again. John and the and say I want to watch something, I can have Firefox open over here. There we go. I now have Firefox over here, something over here, and my TV going. I have this going from my laptop to the big TV, and I have the built-in HDMI port going to this monitor. If you had three normal monitors, you're silly. So if you had two normal computer monitors, you could have one hooked up to your built-in HDMI port on the right, and one of them using your USB 3.0 port to the left. And if you don't have USB 3.0, you can still use 2.0, but 2.0 will not be nearly as fast as 3.0. Yeah, see the video just got really dark. I like but not I just plugged it into a USB 2.0 port. And we'll see if this one comes up. It says this device can perform faster if you connect it to a super speed 3.0 port. See, it still works with 2.0, it just won't be nearly as nice and fast. And I can already tell the quality isn't nearly as good as it was when it was plugged into the 3.0 port. So if you maxed out all your graphics card ports on your desktop, this is a good solution. If you have a laptop and no way to hook it up to an HDMI monitor because you don't have an HDMI port, this is a solution. If you have an HDMI port and you need another display going, this is a good solution. I can say we say for seventy dollars, this is a good buy. Daddy, will you come into my room? Hold on a second. Come here. I'll put links to everything you just saw in the description. This is what would Josh do, and I'm out.